here's our foil lined tray. We've got our oven. Move this aside. And our sweet potatoes. Okay. About two and a half pounds of uh, sweet potatoes. I cut one up and I'll cut another one. I also put the pineapple in there. Um, I use the, and this is sort of a really convenient thing, the pineapple that we have in the produce department already peeled and, co and cored, so it's just um, pineapple. What about the to well, you could use the can, but the fresh is so easy, um, and it doesn't have the, there's nothing like fresh pineapple. And I think with the, you could use the can, I think it would just taste a little bit better with the fresh. And since it's, you know, right now, pineapples are relatively inexpensive. I think even the, the cord one is uh, $2.99. And I don't, um, I don't know with the, if you cord it yourself, which is very easy to do. Everybody know how to do a pineapple? If you take the pineapple with the stalk, and you probably get about the same amount. Okay, this is coming to a boil here. Let me put a lid on it. And kind of turn that down, okay. If you take a pineapple with the stalk up, and you, you know, turn on the side, cut each end off. Hi, Jim. <laughs> cut each end off, stand it back up, and take your knife and just go down around the pineapple to take the, the skin off. And then, um, then you've got it, you know, like this. Pretend this is a pineapple. So you're going to go down like this all the way around. It takes the skin off. And then um, you can just cut it. We'll do this. Cut it in half. And I like to cut it in half again, and you can either lay it down like this and cut the core out, or since it's gonna, you're going to have a quarter piece, it's very easy to just slip down. You can see the cord, you're only cutting a quarter out, and just run your knife all the way down. And it's, it's very simple, it's not, um, like I said, it's not very difficult to, to do that. Um, of course, it's much better to buy it like that if you're worried about um, how you're going to cut it if you don't feel comfortable in doing that. It's, it's a very easy process to cut a pineapple. I should have done that. should have brought one up. Okay. And this, the pineapple like that, it was about two cups of pineapple that you, um, that you get in that, so. But then you always, you know, when you ever, you're doing a fresh pineapple and you've got to make a fruit tray or fruit salad or whatever, um, it's always nice to have that stock. And I always, some people will ask me, what's the, uh, how do you know you got a fresh pineapple? <laughs> and I'm like, well, you can look at the skin. It should be not really green, not too yellowy. But a better way to do it is if you want the stock part is to make sure that that's nice and green and doesn't, isn't brown. And then who cares what the pineapple is because you want to have that presentation. <laughs> So look for the pretty stocky green stuff. Okay, here we've got our pineapple and our uh, sweet potato. We're going to add, let's see, a little bit of oil and some salt and pepper. I think this is two tablespoons of olive oil. Yes. There's one in every crowd that has to ask a question like that. <laughs> And it had to be you, Lola. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. What does this, I was going to say, what does this, this is a cup of pineapple. Let's spread it out and we'll see. I just went by the poundage um, and two pounds was about um, two sweet potatoes, you know, two good sized ones. This might be, 
Might be four cups. Let's see. We'll spread it out here. Okay, so we've got our pineapple, our sweet potato, salt and pepper, and our olive oil. Okay. What do you think? Four cups? One, two, three. Yeah, I would say about four to five cups. Okay. We're going to get this in the oven for 15 minutes at 425. Well, not quite that hot. After 15 minutes, we're gonna, I like to give it another stir. We're going to add our um, pecans, and you can buy the whole pecans, or here's the pecan pieces, which I didn't chop. It says um, to coarsely chop these, but I kind of like those big pieces. They weren't the halves. They're nice size pieces, because you want to make sure people see, wow, they didn't buy the really crappy pecans. Those are the nice ones. They must think a lot of us all about the show. Okay, while we're waiting for that, um, our uh, little sauce ingredients, a bowl here, that we'll put on after the um, potatoes are done. We've got two tablespoons of marmalade. We've got, uh, I think it's two tablespoons of uh, maple syrup. A, a teaspoon, or half a teaspoon, I believe it is. Somehow I've misplaced my glasses, so if it's wrong, just go with it. <laughs> and a tablespoon of lemon juice. And the tablespoon is about a half a lemon. Okay. And we're going to mix that up. I don't think it says whisk it, but... Okay. You could. Um, I find that sometimes that has a little bit of an aftertaste. So, um, I mean, if that's all you had, I would use that. But I would. Buy, I always use the fresh. And a lot of times, if you're um, when you get the the lemons, you can always, uh, you know, we've used a microplane before to take the really fine. Um, grated lime peel and you could you know keep that in the freezer and then you have your fresh lemons even though they're like naked you could still use them for the the juice um, I always like the fresh lemon juice I think that gives another uh, or just a depth of flavor Ooh. let me move this over here all right there's our potatoes and pineapple okay here's our um, little sauce that goes on the potato um, with our um, Dijon mustard, our maple syrup, and our orange marmalade. Put that on there. Okay, and there's our a little bit. We'll hide the. Yeah, we won't use that burnt piece. Okay. Like I said, when you're doing this at home, don't put it on the bottom rack. Okay, there's our pineapple and sweet potatoes roasted with um, pecans.